Share Tribe Tutorial. Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Share Tribe. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is open your browser and kindly go to sharetribe.com or you can simply click the link on the description below and you will be directed on this page in which it will show you the details about this platform. And if you don't know ShareTribe, it is a platform that provides advanced marketplace software for businesses at every stage of their life cycle. And also, this platform offers two main products such as ShareTribe Go and ShareTribe Flex, in which ShareTribe Go is a no-code SAS product that allows users to launch a fully functional marketplace website in one day without writing a line of code, while well, ShareTribe Flex is a more advanced product that allows users to build unique features and design on top of powerful APIs with the help of ShareTribe's experts. And now, to access this platform, they also offer a variety of pricing plans that you can purchase by clicking this option on the top panel. Below here, it will show you some of the plan including the Happy Plan, Pro Plan, Growth, and scale plan. And below, you will see the corresponding prices and the benefits it included. And now, to access this platform for free, just click this button on the top right corner that says Start Building for Free. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed in here, in which it will show you the two choices of plan, including the Share Tribe Go and Share Tribe Plex. But in those options, I'm going to choose the Share Tribe Go and start a free trial in here. So, kind of click on it and you will be directed on this page. And from here, all you need to do is to fill out all of the required information, including your email address, and to enter your first name, your last name, and to generate your own password. And make sure that the password that you generated is a minimum of 8 characters. And after that, just proceed by checking these boxes below here that indicate that you agree to the terms and condition of Share Tribe, and proceed by clicking the next button below. And after that, from here, all you need to do is to select your answers, such as the marketplace type, the name of your marketplace, the country, and the language of the marketplace that you prefer. And after that, just proceed by clicking the green button below here, in which upon clicking on it, it will show you that your marketplace is currently creating. So all you need to do is to wait for it to load, and you will be directed in this page. And this is the homepage of Share Tribe platform. And from here, you will see on the left side panel, some of the options that you can start navigating, including the home, the general, the sign, users, listing, transaction and reviews, and many more. And by clicking the home options right here, it will show you your marketplace, link, or domain, and other information about working with ShareTribe Go, in which it provides an overview of the platform and its features, and allows users to access other sections of the platform such as Manage and Build. And in this section, it also includes information about the user's live marketplace, as well as the links to support and documentations resources. While under the general options, from here you can start navigating the essentials, domain, privacy, static content, and admin notifications, in which this is where you can change the general settings related to the marketplace. And this feature can be used to change the marketplace name and URL as well as to manage the most of the data related to users, listings, and transactions. And this option may also include information about payments, such as how the payment work in general, and the default is right payment gateway integration, in which users can also manage listing data, such as general information, and quick links, and configure options related to payments. Well, under the design options right here, you can start customizing the logo, and color, the cover photos, landing page, top bar, footer, and arrangement of your marketplace. In which using this option, you can start customizing the visual design of your marketplace. And aside from that, by clicking the users option on the left side panel, you will be able to manage and view information about the marketplace users in which this feature can be used to manage user data such as contact information, payment details, and transaction history. And aside from that, users can also customize the user fields and signing up form to collect additional information from users, such as their location or preferences. 
while under the listing options right here. This option represents the items, facilities, or services that users buy or sell or book and offer, in which the listing option may include information about listing types, which determine how customers interact with the listings, while under the transaction and reviews option right here. On this option, you will be able to manage and view information related to transactions and reviews in the marketplace, in which this feature can be used to monitor and manage transactions including invoicing, taxes, and PDF receipts. And aside from that, users can also design and implement a transaction flow that defines the stage of user interaction and transaction outcomes. And from here, you could also set the minimum listing price and also to set up the people and Stripe settings. While under the email options right here, you will be able to manage and customize the automated email templates sent from their marketplace, such as you can compose email and send it to the users, or you can generate welcome email in which using this option, it ensures that emails are delivered reliably and do not end up in users' spam folders. And aside from those options, you could also navigate the search and locations, in which this feature can be used to enable location-based search which allow users to find listing near a specific kind of location within a certain area. And aside from that, users can also customize the search page layout, including the search bar, filters, and sorting options. And aside from those options on the left side panel, you could also navigate the social media to link your social media accounts like Twitter, Facebook, while the other options such as SEO are also helpful to marketplace to increase the visibility of the marketplace in search results. And aside from that, you could also navigate the analytics and the advanced settings right here. Now to start creating or posting a listing, just click this button on the top right corner that says go to your marketplace, in which from here it will show you some of the listing that you have been created. But as you can see, our listing is currently empty. And to post a new listing, just click this button on the top right corner. And after that, it will show you the two options that you can choose. But I'm going to proceed by clicking Selling without online payments. And now, below here, all you need to do is to fill out all of the required information, including your listing title, and also to set up the price per unit. And below the price section, you will see below the delivery method that you can choose, either shipping or pickup. And by choosing the shipping, all you need to do is to enter the shipping fee amount and the additional items p amount and below that all you need to do is to enter a description about your listing and after that the next thing that you need to do is to select the location of your listing so let's say for the location i'm going to enter here new york and after that below you could also import here an image that is connected or about your listing and to proceed just click post listing button below in which upon clicking on it it will show you that your listing has now been created, including the details of it, such as your name, the price, the location of your listing, and even the description of it. So if we go back in here, it will show you the first listing that we had just been created. So that is just how you can use ShareTribe. Thank you.